ियन इन्वेस्टमेंट इज वेरी हाई around uh, 13 lakhs uh, something uh-huh. and uh, 13 lakhs per acre uh, is hectares per hectare okay yes, yes. 13 lakhs yes oh that is why we are not 10 10 acres 10 acres okay 10 acres at lakh per acre it is approximately 1.5 yes mm, okay so but do you think there should be a policy intervention uh, yes sir they definitely sir the punjab haryana already they were implementing many policies to boost the Mm. adoption of drip irrigation in rice and also in maize mm. and uh, they are also discouraging dsr no uh, if, if a policy policy intervention is needed, needed called yes. for why the other states are not doing that is it because they are not being made aware or okay. uh, no sir in many state in many states the farmers are small and marginal farmers they now they cannot afford and the actually the technology is also in research uh, ground it has not come to the farmers field level so it is still under research still, uh, they have to streamline this research finding towards in farmers field oh that brings us to the original question we are not sufficiently invested in research yes that's very surprising uh, this suggest don't you think so agricultural research yes. is underfunded no sir uh, mm-hmm. we have uh, excellent research on uh, various uh, among crops and uh, very uh, other crops but uh, as uh, rice is a water guzzling crops and it requires a high water intensity throughout the uh, year and uh, throughout the growth stages of rice mm-hmm. so successful intervention in in terms of sir uh, improved variety which can be suitably suitably cultivated in drip irrigation system which will be suitably accommodated to drip irrigation system the low water rate system mm-hmm. uh, that is also a need of the hour now mm-hmm. and uh, that is still in the pipe yes sir uh-huh. pipeline, yes okay 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 Sir, okay, sir. This was it. Yes, sir. <coughs> sir, in the field of agriculture, we are noticing something very interesting. The during my child days, I used to see in, in my village lot of production of basmati rice. Yes, uh, very flavored rice. Yes, and come. But nowadays, you don't find such type of rice being. Hmm? No, sir. What has happened to that? Is it gone from this? No, sir. In many um, parts, the, like farmers are not going for that. No sir, yes sir. Farmers are not growing because of sir mainly the quality seed materials are not um, in a hybrid and a, a hybrid and high yielding variety seeds are not available properly to the farmers. And another aspect will be sir the marketing channel is not strengthened for basmati rice. Why? Right. Yes, sir. High cost product. High cost of product sir, but. Uh, and in remote areas like in very remote areas so they are not able to market they have to go through the intermediaries and the uh, middlemen so 
So the cost uh, they so that will not yield them profit. Uh, no sir. Yes, hmm? yes. That's why people are not adapting to that crop. Also sir, uh, some policies also have to be intervened to boost the adoption of basmati rice in many parts of the areas. So now it is black rice is also being cultivated. Uh, yes. Sir, yes. What is that composition of black that comes up in the rice? Um, what is that chemical constituent that comes into the rice that looks gives a black color? Sir, actually the pigment, sir, pigment uh, color that uh, gives us black. Uh -huh. But what is that chemical composition of the pigment? Uh, sir, the chemical is uh, two acetyl prolines. Is it obtained from the soil? No, sir, it is synthesized in plants. Means it is not a natural product. Black, black rice is a natural product or you want to say that it is a product out of the industry by processing? No, no, sir, it is a natural product. Mm -hmm. Actually, sir, the seeds are uh, black. When you saw the seeds, they also gave the black rice. Yes, sir. But so my point is, what are that black compounds uh, which are there making the rice black? Uh, that is, sir, uh, the anthocyanin content is mainly low, so it gives uh, around black, black pigmentation in rice. Okay, but you can have a better answer. Huh? If you are yes, experts, you please ask. Huh? Somebody yes. maybe out of curiosity, somebody may ask. Uh, yes, okay. Yes, definitely. One the last question for you. Uh, we have a lot of uh, debate and discussions on borrowing of technology from Israel in field of agriculture. Yes. Sir. So, what are those unique technologies that has we have uh, imbibed from there? Uh, sir, mainly, sir, as I have uh, discussed, sir, the drip hmm? irrigation system technology was earlier uh, developed in Israel. Now we are adopting in uh, various crops like in for fruit and. Is the technology so sophisticated that we have to brought it from Israel? I don't think it is so. What is your reading? No, sophisticated sir means uh, the technology is not sophisticated, but the method, the techniques they are using, that they have to be worse sir. Okay, any other thing? And sir, there, um, I think I can say, sir, the policies also, how, how they are, uh, how they are improving. What kind of policy? What kind of policy? And sir, the awareness programs between farmers and uh, how to motivate them to adopt drip irrigation through, uh, through incentives or subsidies. Okay. And I would like to just one thing. So a type of rice which is available in the market now, yes. they are not the real rice from the field, but they are processed rice. Yes. Huh? Yes. It is just like making a paste and then taking up in the shape and size of the rice. Yes. Uh, how much you attribute to the quality of these rices? Uh, quali quality is a major aspect uh, for consumers. Uh, sir, uh, now we are having polished rice and also um, black hall rice we are uh, having but uh, so compromising quality is a very important aspect for consumers because if you are consuming directly and we are the uh, main staple food is rice uh, having odisha in odisha so quality is also uh, give a major importance in agriculture we lose that quality in this processed rice processors uh, not uh, not much uh, not much sir but uh, quality improves and the processing improves the quality of produce, sir. It improves? Yes, sir. That means rich in nutrients than the normal rice? Yes, sir. Normal rice is uh, not, uh, not uh, lower in nutrient, but uh, by through fortification, we can increase the nutrient status of the rice. Sir. By processing like chotua, sir, we can improve okay, the nutrient. Okay. <coughs> Vishwajit, I have a simple question. <coughs> yes, sir. Tell me how to free politics in India from money power, muscle power and media. These three components are making or breaking yes, a politician or a political party. So, what is your solution? Sir. Can any common man now fight politics and uh, fight election and can win? Yes, yes, sir. So, how? Uh, the first step will be RTI should be strengthened, sir. Mm -hmm. And uh, there will be, sir, a cap on election expenditure. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is a cap. Yes, sir. The, the election funding expenses should be uh, under RTI. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. The mm -hmm. CCTV surveillance mm -hmm. and awareness uh, among the publics. Mm -hmm. And then, sir, there will be um, uh, uh, transparency and uh, some uh, training program for the uh, youths. So they can engage in uh, active politics and uh, strengthen the politics of Okay. You yeah, have good suggestions. But tell me, how to get rid of caste from politics? In Indian politics is now caste redeemed. Yes. Sir. There is a close nexus between caste and politics in India. 
how to get rid of it? Sir, as um, India is a secular country and we don't um, recognize any of the religion or caste as the state or national religion or caste. But uh, caste somehow now indulge in politics to play the cards, play cards like in politics. How caste? You know, in what way caste is influencing politics? Sir, uh, the regionalism concept, mm -hmm. the casteism concept is there. Mm -hmm. They are playing cards through. They are not uh, favoring Hindus or they are not favoring Muslims in many and they are uh, they they are discriminating many Dalits and many SCST people. So caste is also. See, first of all, they numerically calculate in this constituency which caste people are the dominant. dominant. So they file a candidate from that caste. Uh, yes. Then second, they mobilize votes on the basis of caste. You. All Kurmi should vote for this man because he is a Kurmi. Yes. Thirdly, after getting elected, they give, say, mm, mm, patronage to this caste. Because you have voted for me, yes, for this Kurmi pass caste, I will be doing this. Yes. So this way the nexus works. And it is a vicious nexus, very difficult to get. And what about corruption in Indian society? How to... Eliminate corruption, is it possible or corruption is a um, worldwide phenomenon now no, no, and sir. it cannot be? No, corruption hmm. is a negative attitude towards the society. Uh, due, due to corruption many uh, things will happen can go in hmm. negative way. Hmm. So uh, to curb corruption we have to first sensitize the um, uh, grievance readdressal mechanism hmm. and uh, also we can go for RTI also should be strengthened and should be hmm. in a uh, robust mechanism should be there for the enforcement and uh, some uh, in RTI also some officer, appellate officers and uh, the um, and the officers in uh, working in RTI. Okay. okay, sir. Very good. So, Vishwajit, when is your uh, interview? It's around 15, sir. Fifteenth, very good. This is the first interview? Uh, yes. Huh? yes. First exam? Yes. You must have done very well, there is no doubt about it. Any, uh, what is the dress order? Dress Four order. Dress order no sir, I want to wear a suit sir. Very good. Ajito? Yes. And uh, uh, shaving tar? Yes sir, shaving tar. Yes, sir. Uh, any questions from your side? Uh, sir, what is the newspaper you are reading, what do you have? Yes sir, uh, Samas. Samas, very good. Hmm. Prashna Chik is Vishwajit. Sir, actually, sir, I am a PhD surgeon. Huh? PhD surgeon. Even uh -huh. now, sir, I am working as an assistant agriculture officer. Ketar, uh, this is class 2, is it? Sir, class 2, sir. Class 2. Yes. From uh, you, uh, OPSC? OPSC. Very good. Ketar, what are you doing? Interview, sir? Sir, uh, sir, 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 not the same. I am doing the same. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, come to, uh. Sir, this is a gap period, sir. I have a post graduate, sir. I have a 2020 year. Now, sir, I have a 2024 year. So, this is a gap period, sir. There is a gap period, sir. We are not aware of any gap. Yes, sir. There is a gap period, sir. Yes, sir. How did you do it? Sir, PhD John Kurchi. Yes. 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 Should I? No, you should have done PhD, then you should continue your research. So, you should have done the requirement, the family requirement. We belong to middle class, the family wants that you should be in job. So, I have to. Satta Kounta Anya, Satta Gai Bhavit Tanaras, why? You know, truth is the best way. You mean, Koi Parad, I have a job job, I have a job, I have a job, I have a PhD. Yes, yes. Taking leave, I can complete. I am interested. We are not even conscious. Since you are mentioning here, we are not even conscious. Don't worry about all this thing. Biswajit, Satta Kahibe, you have been doing research, which means you are critical, independent research, means you are going to add to knowledge. So, no question, critical, independent intelligence is there. When the current affairs are in a gap, you tell them, sir, I will read up. Yes. Be confident. Yes. Which will you And confidently come and you will come out in with flying colors. Yes, sir, definitely. So I will try my ah, best. Okay. Come on. Thank you. Huh? Thank All you. the best. God bless you. Thank we you. have read, given Thanks. you 225. Yeah, if you perform to your potential, you will get it. Sir, thanks. Thank you.